Hey guys, welcome to UX Tweaks YouTube channel. My name is Charlie and I am a senior UX designer and a YouTuber. In today's video, we are going to be talking about preference testing and A-B testing. These are two super popular methodologies that UX designers love to use. With that being said, I feel like it's very common for people to use these terms interchangeably, but they're really actually two different things. In this video, we are going to be talking about both of them. So let's start with preference testing. How about we start off with an example? At UX Tweak, we were recently deciding between two different homepage designs. Instead of jumping to conclusions amongst ourselves, we decided to run a preference testing exercise to see which one our users would prefer. To do that, we used our preference testing tool, which only took a few minutes to set up. After we set it up, we showed it to our users and we asked them which one they prefer. Then we followed it up with additional questions to dive deeper into the why of their decision. When to conduct preference testing? I love using preference testing when I'm deciding between two different user interfaces. And since this is such a simple and effective exercise, I love asking people who may not be so familiar with UX because I feel like this is a great exercise for them to start getting to know what UX is. Now that we've got preference testing covered, let's look into A-B testing. In this example, let's say your online store is not receiving as many email signups as it did last month. In order to find out why, we would do an A-B test. We might try a few different things here to promote more signups, like changing the call to action or CTAs, like buttons and make them various background colors to see which one generates more signups. I really like using A-B testing with customers or clients because I feel like it is a great way to streamline your application and test new features. But when you're doing A-B testing, make sure you're only changing one variable so that you get the most accurate results. Now that we've talked about preference testing and A-B testing, let's compare the two. For preference testing, you want to do this in the early stages of your design process. You'll use wireframes, rough sketches, or even a low fidelity prototype to learn user preference. While A-B testing should be used later on in your design process, when you have a live design. The aim or goal of preference testing is to learn what your users prefer and why while the goal for A-B testing is to optimize the design based on user experience. Preference testing gives you qualitative and quantitative data about user preferences, and A-B testing provides you with quantitative evidence. The best environment for preference testing are in your prototypes or designs that are not live yet, and the best place to run A-B tests are on an actual running website. The key difference between preference testing and A-B testing is that with preference testing, we are asking a user which one of two versions of something they prefer. But with A-B testing, we give two random groups of people two different versions and see which one would perform better. I hope this video was able to help you with preference testing and A-B testing. The way that I like to remember it is that preference testing helps you understand the layout and visual representation preferences your user might have, and you can apply them before the product is finished. A-B testing, on the other hand, is focused on your key performance indicators or your KPIs, and it's really used to determine how variations can impact your user's behavior. That that brings us to the very end of this video. Thank you so much for watching and make sure you remember to create your UX Tweak account and run your first preference testing exercise for free. Check out the links in the description below and stop guessing the behavior of your users and start asking them the why of what they do. Thanks again for watching. Bye!